I'm tired. I don't want to fight with nobody in my life anymore. I don't want to fight with my dog. I don't want to fight with my man. I don't want to fight with my kid. I don't want to fight with my friends. I don't want to fight with nobody. By nothing, okay? So whatever we could do to make sure we don't fight with nobody. And it's all because I'm guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog if you are new here hello i'm sabrina if you are not new to this but you are true to this welcome back to another video sis fam so it is it's saturday hold on <clears throat> it's seven oh my gosh it's seven o'clock it's so late i might no i have to go to those stores Okay, me and Cam are just going to be out late today. So it's Saturday. It's 7 12 right now. I definitely meant to leave the house a little bit earlier. So I'm about to run to Target real quick and I might pop into Ross and Marshall's because they're in the same plaza. Cam and I have like a family photo shoot tomorrow and I have my dress that I'm wearing and he has clothes too. We're doing like a neutral theme. So like white khakis, like that kind of look. But I mean, I like the shorts that he has. I feel like all the white shirts that he has is like collared shirts. And I don't know. It's just, it's giving stuffy. <laughs> it's giving stuffy. That's not the vibe um, that I want to go for, but we are going for like a timeless look. So we're going to stop by those stores really quick i'm like putting on my jewelry and everything right now i want this to be a little bit tighter because this dress or not dress but this top comes up high um yeah so we're gonna run to those stores um to see if i could just find like a just better suited white shirt for him i think that's fine and let's see for my scent today what do i want to wear i have not wear black opium in a while oh this smells so good i might layer this okay so i'm gonna do black opium because i haven't worn it Ooh, i haven't worn it in a while spray some of my hair too child <laughs> and oh this smells actually really good by itself but i want a you yeah i'm gonna layer it with the alt fragrance duchess Oh, this oh, I love this smell. It's like so sweet and like warm. I love it. All right. I think I think we're good now. I need to pack my purse. Um. Yeah. So we're gonna run to those stores really quick, and then after we're gonna have like a little mommy and me day, and go out to this. Um. It's like a new kind of. I guess like a version of like Dave and Buster's, like an arcade place, and they have go karts. And I heard their go-karts are like super bomb. Like they go like 30 miles an hour. A little bit scared. Cause my son is a daredevil y'all. And he gonna pump that thing to the max. <laughs> but I know they're gonna be strapped in really good. So we're gonna go there, have a little fun little time. They don't close until like one or two in the morning. So it really doesn't matter that we're going this late. It was probably, we're just gonna have like a really late night. And that's fine. We have not. I don't think I've been out with him this late in a really long time, but we're definitely due for a mommy and me day because during the week, like I've just been working and I've been working. So I'm so proud of myself. First of all, for all the for all the girls out there that you've just been, I know it ain't about to rain. No, I think it's just getting dark. Okay. <laughs> for all my girlies that's been hot there, that's been grinding hard, been working their butt off. Shout out to y'all. Okay. This whole week, I you know after the nine to five, y'all, I've been on it. I've been in the gym. I went five days a week. <laughs> Last week, okay, five for five, and every time after that, I was either doing something for YouTube for my business. Like we've been on it, so not only am I due for a fun night out, but he's due for a fun night out too. Cause I just I've been busy, a little bit of neglect, a little bit of neglect. Not that he even cares or mind because it's summertime. He's been like on his iPad with his friends, but still, we need out. You gotta play that first. <laughs> She give and never trust another nigga. I say she give me on the nigga. Say she feeling on the nigga. Say she run another nigga. I who's that? Baby, tell me who's that?
love my friends. Let's have a good time. Baby, I'ma make you sweat. Let's have a good time. Baby, I'ma make you sweat. Hey guys, so it is Sunday. It's like 1240. I'm running behind a little bit um, because I was filming the try on portion to a she in like activewear haul that I did for you guys because I needed some new workout set and I was like, well, let me try out she in and I was like, clearly you can see my ring lights back there. And I was like, might as well just do like a haul for you guys. So I'm doing my makeup now um, for our photo shoot. So a little bit about our photo shoot. It was not something that I like necessarily like wanted to do or something. But I was on Instagram one day just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And anyways, yeah, so I'm scrolling, scrolling on Instagram. And I came across this thing. I was like, oh, do you have a fur? Do you have like a family pet? Would you have a chance to win a photo shoot? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so I entered into the contest and I got like, they emailed me like the very next day saying, hey, you won. Please schedule like your time that you wanna do your photo shoot and stuff like that. So on top of that, I'm thinking that this is just like a regular photo shoot and it's not like it's an actual family portrait. So, and I didn't find this out until they like call you to go over everything, like before your photo shoot. So when they're explaining it to me, the process is that she actually does your photo shoot and then they send it off to an artist, like a painter, and they paint your portrait. So it's actually a painting and like the quality of it and everything is like it lasts like up to a hundred years so this is truly like you know one of those little family like heirlooms or not heirlooms cause i think heirlooms are something you wear or something but it's just a family memoir i don't know how to say that word you know what i'm talking about but basically something you will pass on for generations and generations like it's made to last that long and i've always loved that i'm not gonna lie even though it's kind of like old-fashioned but the houses that have like actual paintings like family portrait paintings i just love it so when i found that out, i was even like more excited i was like oh my god <laughs> so we are a mini doodle family, I ain't gonna lie. Like if something should ever happen to Zoe, God forbid, but you know, she's gonna live a long, 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 long dog life. After that, we get another golden doodle because I love them, like their energy, how sweet they are. They're so friggin' smart and they're hypoallergenic. Heavy on the hypoallergenic. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna do like a little studio tour and everything when I get there so you guys will kind of like see the process. Um, and then y'all tell me why my cycle decided to start today instead of tomorrow how it was supposed to when i'm wearing a white dress like i just want to know why our cycles always want to come at a non-friendly like non-cycle friendly time like since i'm wearing a whole white dress why you gotta come now and then the thing about it is it's like is you that mad that you didn't turn into a baby you that mad like sis it's giving petty it's giving petty but whatever so i'm not even gonna get dressed till i get there i'm just gonna like pack my dress and everything and i just got him actually a new collared white shirt because when i thought about it i was like you know what um this is actually a more formal <laughs> it is a more formal picture um it's not just a photo shoot so yeah we went with the white collar and i just got him a new one just so you know have a crisp white shirt um you guys will see my dress when i put it on it's from a college mates boutique that she has online it's called house of bell boutique i actually bought this dress like over a year ago though like when she first launched i'm not sure if it's still gonna be up but you guys will see and if you like it you guys can go check out her website i'll leave it down below and yeah so and then i got zoe a dress right i got her i got her a white baby girl dress um it was like a 24 month old because i was like oh she should be able to fit this 
uh yeah no we can't button it up in the back but it's okay because it's like one of those sets that came with you know the little headbands that they do for girls um and like the little white underwear part but we're just gonna put the headband on her but like around her collar <laughs> so that's gonna be like her outfit for the shoot um so you know she matches and her fur is like a reddish brown so sis already had the neutral <laughs> tone down pack um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare into my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time. shoot went so freaking good i loved the, the pictures they came out so good so um i will say that was such a smart like marketing ploy to do like a free giveaway photo shoot and you offer like basically she offered like the 8 by 10 as a portrait but by the time you get in there and you see the pictures and you see the life size versions in there you're gonna want to upgrade <laughs> so either way she gave you a free shoot and all of that but by the end of the day sis still making her money okay so we did choose um one i loved all the pictures i'm i did the 11 by 14 um all the other ones are so beautiful but i told her i was like listen i was like i'm gonna do 11 by 14 which was still like upgrade from it so she still made money um <laughs> she still made money <laughs> from it 
but for sure like once i'm married once i have the rest of my kids and all of that honey we're going back and we're gonna do that big big one that big picture you see like as soon as you as soon as you come in the house this is our house picture baby we're going back because i loved it but we um i'm like just freshening up my face real quick because i'm about to do the i'm about to sit down i'm about to do the sit down like talk through part of the haul i did and i also need to do a sit down video um of like a what not to do um <laughs> what not to do when you have the keratin treatment because y'all i don't find out all of what not to do so i'm just like freshening up my makeup like the little oily spots so yeah so i chose one main picture and that's the one that they are going to use to do the actual painted printed um portrait painted yeah <laughs> portrait and then it also comes with five digital um copies so for the digital one i chose there's like two of me and cam like two other ones that i really really loved um there's one of cam by himself he has like this boss man um one there's one of cam and zoe that i absolutely loved and then um there's one of me either way we have five prints <laughs> um so when they're delivered um i will show you guys those but it came out so freaking good and i'm like so excited to get them now the process when i went back to like do the payment stuff like that because y'all tell me why i forgot like all my cards and everything like i was because i was already like a little bit running late so i literally like just dipped up at the house they have nothing with me so to come back home plus we were like starving too so i come back home get can something to eat me something to eat and then i went back so yeah so it takes about 90 days um to like do the portrait and everything because again it is painted it's not it's not printed it's a painted portrait so it takes 90 days and then we're gonna get that back and i'm so excited i cannot wait to see what it looks like all right so makeup looks really good back in action baby and for the most part on most of the pictures i had my hair like this um because it just you know it gave just a very like sleek look and like timeless look so um this is actually going to be a two weekend vlog um so next weekend i'm going to get my lip neutralization touch-up session so um, i already put something on my lips so you can't see it but i'll show you when it comes because probably even going to be lighter by then but overall like the dark overcast is gone it's more of just like a neutral like dark brown now which is kind of like what my lips were originally so this next session should definitely be lighter and i might even go back and do a third session which would only be 50 dollars because it's still considered a touch-up since I got my original from her. So I'm going to see y'all next weekend. Hey guys, happy Friday. It's Friday, TGIF. Um, it's like 6.30 right now. I just got back from the gym. I just walked Zoe and everything, so she's good. I got to give her some water. I hear her at her bowl right now. But it's Friday. Um, we are going to be doing my hair today. I'm going to be washing my hair. I'm just going to do it in this vlog because I've already done like a wash day routine after I get my keratin treatment. It's been two weeks, so it's time for a wash. I like to wash my hair two weeks after. I'm supposed to do it like five days, I think, three to five days after. But <laughs> we didn't do all that to have to wash our hair in like three days. So... I'm about to wash my hair today. I'm going to show you guys that because some of you guys did ask me for a maintenance routine on my last keratin update video. But I already have like that video and like a week in my hair throughout like my very first process. And honestly, nothing has changed. It's the same products, either the Clio maintenance products or the She Grows hair care products. It's the only thing I use in my hair. So I'm going to do that. Uh, today's kind of been like a content day. So I filmed like a, I'm going to start a new segment on my Instagram, Fitness Fridays. So kind of like a get ready with me and whatever my workout is. Um, 
it's gonna always go up on Fridays but I'm not gonna always film it on Fridays because it's gonna be like different workouts so different days so I did my first one um, today I'm also gonna do a wash day reel like a satisfying hair washing reel and I also want to do a facial so I'm gonna do all of that tonight because tomorrow let me give Zoe some water she's about to go crazy with this ball until I give her water so it is it's hot outside I can't even follow her it is hot we just went for a walk she needed her water so yeah so I'm gonna do all of that today because tomorrow I'm getting my lip neutralization like the second treatment and you guys know you know you can't get your lips wet or anything like that at least for 24 hours um, and I want to just really upkeep that rule to make sure this treatment like really sticks so I'm gonna do all that tonight I'm about to eat I just got some seafood I have to clean up this kitchen <laughs> and then we're gonna get into that so yeah that's what that's that's how my Friday's been you know that's how my Friday's been going so I'm gonna eat this food watch some YouTube calm down real quick from this heat and this workout and then we're gonna get to all
the amount. Are y'all like super zoomed in? Do I need to zoom y'all out? Oh, y'all wasn't even that zoomed in. The um, first of all, I don't know why I was really up here trying to record a wash day routine for this vlog and trying to record a reel at the same time. Like. <laughs> That was so much. That was so much. Maybe it was just the shower part that was so much. I'm not really sure. Or it's just the fact of trying to do both. Like, that was a lot. It's crazy how much work goes into creating content, especially for reels, when the maximum video that y'all would even see is a minute worth. Like, that's the maximum time you can see a reel. And the work behind it, it's so much. I was gonna do like a facial routine reel, but not tonight. I'm just gonna have to wait until my lips are healed and I can do it like next weekend because it's 9.30. And granted my hair honestly is probably only gonna take like an hour and a half if that, cause with the keratin treatment it goes by really fast, like blow drying and flat iron and stuff like that. But baby, I don't know why that almost took me out. <laughs> That almost took me out in the shower. Oh my God, it was so, it was a lot. That was a lot. And I was just washing my hair like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna like put my little serums and moisturizer on and like calm my soul <laughs> and like gear up to finish my hair. I might need to take me like a little break. Like quick little 10 minute break, gather my thoughts real quick and come back because I'm not doing this again. It's, this is why I understand why they do one or the other and they just come back like, oh, I'll insert it here because baby, no ma'am, <laughs> no ma'am. I will never get over how freaking fast it is to do my hair when I get like a fresh treatment. like. Blow drying literally took all of like 20 minutes. Not even. I love this thing, okay? I am never going back. <laughs> all right. I really hope I got some good footage because the way I'm feeling, if this don't come out right, I'm gonna be real mad. Like nothing is worse than like literally spending your time creating content and it comes out trash. And it's happened before. Like, I've filmed so many videos for YouTube at that, and it sucked. And I'm really, really focusing on putting out, like, quality content, not just putting out content. And that's why, like, my upload, I really want to do two uploads a week, but that's why it's been, like, once a week. Because I just want to really focus and make sure I'm creating, like, really good content. This angle is... It's gonna do it. I need to do something. I have a, the painting that's in my room. I think I'm gonna put it in here, but then I low key kind of want to paint over it and do like that little abstract, like white plaster paint. But I also, it actually will match the color because I have like a bronzy thing in here. And then I, I want to get like a hanging shelf to put that. It's like the poopery air freshener and like the cottonelle towelettes rather than it's like in a clear tray just sitting on top of that i don't like that so i think i'm gonna get like i'm gonna go shopping tomorrow because i literally just want to finish my room bathroom just everywhere and just be done with this little mini makeover that i've been doing with my condo ah, feels so good feels so good oh my gosh feels so good to have clean fresh flowy hair so now that that's heating up I really hope this comes out good. I'm not even working. And, but the thing is like, I really don't even have to flat iron my hair. That's like what I love about this. Like, I literally can just wrap my hair like this and the wrap itself will like smooth this out more, but I'm flat my hair. <laughs> Cause it just lasts longer and just real. Oh, I love it. I'm never gonna get over this. I don't think I'm ever gonna get over this. And I love that for me. I love, I just love this so much. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and then I have that painting back there that I need to hang up from my room. It's a lot. I'm going to get all of this together tomorrow. All of this together because I'm tired of this. Like I need this to just be done. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of living like this. 
done to do. <laughs> Woo! I love it. All right, so more than likely, you guys, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my hair. I'm gonna make a comfort treat. I'm gonna go finish the rest of this red velvet cake I got from Publix and this non-dairy, no sugar added vanilla ice cream to soothe my soul, to compensate for what I went through today. Good night. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It's Saturday. It's currently 11 o'clock. I'm supposed to be at my appointment right now, but I'm not because I got rescheduled. Um, she texted me this morning. I guess she had some appointment that she had for herself that she forgot. So she asked to, am I gonna be able to, I don't hate when people park at this damn roundabout. Go in a, like go in a parking spot. I don't know why people do that. <laughs> and there's like a parking spot literally right next to the roundabout. Just go, go park sis, go park and wait on whoever. Anyways, she had her own maintenance appointment that she had for today. Put my windows up. Um, so she asked to reschedule me for tomorrow and that's completely fine because when I woke up, I kind of was just having like a slow morning anyways, which I really liked. So I got up, I cleaned up and stuff. Um, and I really want to finish my series of like my DIY rental makeover series that I'm doing. So I'm gonna use today to really do that. Um, so, but I need like just a few little more things that, like that I was telling y'all about yesterday that I just want to get. So I'm running to like Marshall's Ross, they're in the same um, place. Target's in there too, I might run to Target. And I think, yeah, I think I am gonna run to Target rather than trying to run to Walmart. Cause there's like just little minor things like I need to get like a socket for this opening that's in my bedroom i guess the last people that were there they had it cut out to probably do like a box or something for the cable and they literally just left the hole it has the you know the two holes that you can put like one of those cover socket over um but they just left it so it's literally like a hole in my wall and i got freaked out and i was like oh my god like a snake's gonna come through it so i literally like stuffed the rag in there <laughs> But now I'm like, that's tacky, especially because the corner that it's at, I think that's the corner I want to use when I do like try-ons and stuff like that. So I need that to be covered. You can't be having a hole in the wall, girl. And then I'd be like, bugs are gonna come, girl. I just have this fear when I'm gonna like be sleeping and I'm gonna wake up and literally there's gonna be like a snake coming out of the hole and I'm gonna like instantaneously pass out and die. That's what we're doing. So I'm just gonna see what I could find, what like decor pieces, cause I feel like I'm just missing something. I don't know what, but I feel like I'm missing something. Very much something. And I just wanna get all of those some things. So when I go home, I literally can just finish everything, wrap up filming. I've literally been doing these like DIY makeovers for like, this is like March, April. It's been months. It's been months been months it's ridiculous <laughs> that's how I feel about it. it's ridiculous but this is my hair um I haven't done my big reveal yet that's another thing too I think later I want to finally film my keratin like do's and don'ts um so that would be great to be able to do it today with like super fresh hair and I could like wrap up my reel if it's even gonna be a real, but uh, hair feels so freaking good, so clean, so light, so flowy, just airy, just, we're back, okay? We are back. Feels really, really good. It's the fact that I'm really going here with the intention of spending money that I, I, I don't have a reason to, but I, I, but there, there's a reason. There's a reason I don't know it yet, but I'm gonna know when I get to the store. Yeah.
look at the socket cover and I asked someone in there if they had it. She was like, someone just asked me for that. We don't carry it. And when I got outside, the rain was starting to do its thing. And one thing about me, I don't do bad weather. Where are we going? Why? Is it life or death? I'm gonna be at the house. <laughs> like, that is me all day, every day. Like, no, I'm not finna fight this. Especially when literally that was like the last thing on my list because I feel like I got everything that I wanted or needed from Ross. I'm gonna order it off Amazon and it better be $2. So, a little Ross haul. I'm so excited. I literally got like everything and more because there are things that I wanted to get I didn't even think I was gonna like necessarily find in Ross, but I got it, girl. So, the first thing, you guys. I got the nightstand um, lights, yeah. The nightstand lights. It's so funny because this is literally like the style of the one I was gonna get, but Zoe, girl, can I have a moment? <laughs> this is the style I was gonna get. The other one was just like floor lamps and then they came and they were like the very thin, it was like a thin part with the light. But I like these because I think they're like, definitely just, they have more, they just have more character to them so I'm like really excited about these and I did get two of them so one for each nightstand so this is the other one so we got that um, I got this very basic white towel because I told you guys I wanted to let me put you guys okay because I told you guys I wanted to get a white towel to put under the base of the decorative towels that I have on the rack so I just got this um, nice white one. It's very soft, very plush. So I also, I cannot remember the last time I got new like bath towels. Sounds so bad. But the thing is I literally have like, I, I've always had so many bath towels. Like whenever I used to go to my friend's house, they literally would have like one or two bath towels. I'm like, why you only have one or two bath towels? It never made sense to me because yeah, like why you only got one, like why you only got a towel for you? Why? Even if you don't have guests like that, why you only have a towel for you? I've always been a person that have literally, I be having like 10 to 15 towels and it just be me. But either way, I haven't bought towels in a really long time, but that's because I have so many towels. But I was like, I need new towels. So I got these. I, the influencer in me really wanted to get the white ones, but then I'm like, they are gonna get so dingy so fast and that's gonna like blow me. So I was like, no. So I got this very like neutral, the camera's kind of like washing it. Okay, let me do it, yeah. So you can see it in here. So it's like this like nice, like light tan color and they're very soft, very plush. They're from the hotel brand. So yeah, they're very soft, they're very nice. And I needed like a catch-all for like my keys, sunglasses. Sometimes I throw my wallet in there if I just like running out with my wallet, the candle lighter, things like that. So I got that's my oven. I'm heating up the rest of my seafood <laughs> so I can eat for lunch. I have, I literally have not eaten anything today. I've just been like going, going, going. So yeah, so I thought this was like really cute and it was just different. You guys already saw this faux plant to go in the bathroom. I also got these and this is going to go um, in my entertainment system because it's just been blank down there. So I got these because in here it's like black, white, neutrals. Girl! Can you back it? I got, <laughs> got a stainless steel mixing bowl. It's really for cooking. I have one, but it's really big. But it's literally just one. And when I meal prep and stuff, especially like lately, I've been cooking two different like meats or proteins. So I need another mix symbol to season whatever that other meat is. So I just got a small one because the other one is pretty big. I don't need like a super big one because I'm hardly ever really cooking that much food. So I just got a smaller version of that. This one you guys already saw like this white wooden tray that's going to hold all the little bathroom necessities by the toilet. And actually, no, I don't want it on top of the toilet. But it could go on top of the toilet. I wonder if that would be better than placing it on the ground. We'll see. Also got this hourglass design um, with the gray sand inside of it for under the... Yeah, something almost fell on you because you're being nosy. Um, 
go under by my entertainment system because it's gonna go with homeboy homegirl who's waiting clearly just waiting on the time to pass <laughs> And it's gonna go with the little chains too. So I just thought that whole set was just really cute. It's like a little, it's like off track a little bit, but I got this trash can for the bathroom and it's marble. So it's gonna match like my countertop. And I, I have one and it's just clear. So it's not like it doesn't go with the decor, but I got this one specifically because it has, it has a lid. Cause Miss Zoe, y'all. She be going all up in the trash in the bathroom. And it's like, I'm tired of fighting with her. I don't want to fight with her no more. Okay? So this way, she can't get in there. And we just, we going to squash that whole beef that we be having every single day. Like, every single day. Like, I know if I accidentally leave my room door open where she can get in my bathroom. Even if I'm in my room and she's in there with me. And I lose sight of her and she goes in that bathroom. We already know. We already know what she's doing in there. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want to fight with nobody in my life anymore. I want to fight with my dog. I want to fight with my man. I want to fight with my kid. I want to fight with my friends. I want to fight with nobody. About nothing. Okay? So whatever we could do to make sure we don't fight with nobody. That's See? Look. Already. Already. And she's so smart. Bro, I swear if she figure out how to step on this pedal and open it. So as you can see, it was raining, literally raining as I got out the store. It was raining while I was bringing this stuff in my house. It was raining while I took her out really quick to go for a walk. And this is my hair. No frizz in sight. Still flowy. Still doing its thing. So for all the girls, I keep asking. Because literally some girl really asked, like, can you go outside and, like, show us your hair for an hour? Girl, I got rained on. This is my hair. <laughs> I've been outside for, like, almost, like, not, like, an hour and a half now. So this is my hair. Hey guys, I'm watching, what is this, Resident Evil? I'm like gonna chill out for like one episode before I start on my thing. But this is what down here looks like. Oh, I love it. It's so cute and just clean and I think it just, it flows. Look at my bland. <laughs> Look at my peace lily. Look at this monstrosity. Hold on, let me pause it. So... One day, I accidentally overwatered it. I usually only do like one canister of the water bottle. I don't know why this one leaning like this. And that day, for whatever reason, don't know what triggered me. I did two, and it was like literally sitting in all that excess water for like two days until she she went limp, limp like that, limp. And I was like, oh my god, no! And then I saw that it was overwatered. Like literally like water filled up in here. So I sat her outside. I poked a whole bunch of holes in here to help dry it out. Out of the very big flush peace lily that I had. This dock was the only one that survived. This one was surviving. But sis looked like she on her way out too. So I had like a baby um, peace lily that was like in a smaller pot. So I just, I ripped out the other ones that basically like was like root rot and dead because of the odor over watering. And then I just planted the baby one in here. So it's up to her to get this corner back to what it was. <laughs> this looks so pathetic. Ah, it looks pitiful, right, Zo? It looks pitiful. You look so cute, mama. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're the prettiest little girl ever. You bad sometimes, but you're cute, girl. You're cute. That's why you get away with it.
Okay, I'm reloaded. 